It is such a joy to see you all this morning. Uh, as Robbie alluded to uh, just a while ago, last night was a very electrifying night for sure. How many of y'all still do not have power? Raise, raise your hand. Oh, you've got the power, brother. I know you do. So just, uh, just the brewers and... Oh, you have power now. Just me now. Okay, great. Wow. You know, what's, what's really funny was the, uh, we were the only house on South Coca Road that did not have any power. Our neighbors had a power. That one lightning strike must have just hit our, uh, our pole or something, and uh, the fuse blew on the, on the pole. So, wow, you all have power. That's, that's, I'm really thankful to hear that. Uh, if you would take your Bibles and turn with me to Matthew 28, Matthew chapter 28. Now you have to take all that food out of the freezer. Yeah, back. Yeah, she uh, came here early this morning to put some her frozen foods into the uh, church freezer. Now she has to reverse that. Matthew 28, and I'll begin reading in just a moment in verse 19 or 18 rather, we're looking at a series entitled a, the, the Marks of a Healthy Church. What are the characteristics of a healthy church? Well, to, today we're going to be looking at a healthy church obeys the Great Commission. It obeys the Great Commission. Let's read in Matthew 28 and verse 18. It says, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore.